all right guys so in front of me today is a 2024 alfa romeo Giulia. the exterior paint of this car is alpha white i'll do a full walk around as usual before i get into all the features that this car has you see this car looks pretty sick okay so we'll start with just the headlights when you click the key fob to unlock the car the headlights light up i'll do it again for you it has an aggressive loading style type lighting when you use the key fob from outside to start the car like that you just click twice then the mirrors will fold out do the same thing and then it'll start up for you wait for the startup then we'll go under what's under the hood so to open the hood well let's unlock the car to open the hood you come down here there's a latch right there to open the hood the key in my pocket oh that sprung right up so under the hood is a two liter inline four d1 turbo engine it makes 280 horsepower to the wheel and below is an eight speed automatic transmission now we'll talk about the fuel economy knowing that this car makes 280 horsepower close the hood just pull it down close this right for you okay so for fuel economy we'll get right into it this car makes 24 miles per gallon in the city and 33 on the highway all depending on how you drive to get into the trunk features now or the trunk space i'll close this before i get into that but to get into the trunk space let's see what it has to offer click twice on the key fob it opens right up for you trunk space is i say decent it's nothing crazy but it's a nice car so i think it makes up for it in my opinion Okay, so if you look down here, you see the battery, the trunk. Oh, we close the trunk now and dive right into the interior features. You see that nice panoramic sunroof. So now we'll dive right into these wheels. You see it has these 18 inch dark turbine aluminum wheels with these BSW all season performance tires. The tire rating is 225 by 45 r18 so it has these brembo brake calipers with the alpha romeo stitching on it come around to the back that's the same thing that's the same thing for all four tires it's kind of cool all right guys so now we will dive into all the features that this car has on the interior so i will hop in and see Ooh, it feels really like serious let me release that okay so has these black leather seats feel really I wouldn't say hard but these seats feel really good in a sense see my phone right there all right guys so now we'll dive right into all the features this car has on the interior let me see if this preview is right yeah, so now we'll dive into all the features this car has in the interior. I'm gonna read off the sticker just to get it right for y'all. So it has a 12.3 inch cluster. Over here, it has a 8.8 .8 inch AM FM radio display with what's it called with navigation. Features this AM FM radio thing has, it has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, the Sirius, Sirius XM. It has a wireless charging pad. Also has an eight speaker audio system. So that probably sounds really good. It has heated front seats, heated rear seats, and a heated steering wheel. It also has an eight way power adjustable driver's seat and passenger seat, which is cool. Now for the dimensions, I'm gonna dive right into the back seat of this car and see how I fit back there. It's closed. All right, so now we unlock. My seat was really back because I was sitting really comfy, 
but for six foot tall if the seat should be like this in the car then the passenger behind the driver will not be having a fun time so i'm gonna go adjust the seat to like a normal person's height and see how they would fit back here or i'll just hop over to the passenger side give me a second So now we'll hop right over into the passenger rear. You see, oh, I sit really good with the seats at the height of like a normal person. I sit really good. These air vents back here, they're really cool. And it also gives your pa back passengers chargers so they don't have to stretch from all the way up there to just to charge your phone. That's cool. Yeah, that's that for the back seat. As you can see it has this dual sunroof. There's one for the driver. I'll do that when I get back up there. But yeah, that's that for all the features from behind here. Let's see how the, oh yeah. They wouldn't be having a fun time either. So this is perfect for four people and not five, unless you're fitting like a kid in the middle right here. But it's cool. Now we'll dive into like the features right here and stuff like that. So let's make our way back to the driver's seat. close it all right so back to the driver's seat i'll show you i'll flex the key fob a little for y'all this key fob looks really rich i feel so rich holding it like this key fob is really cute and sick it looks so sporty but now we're looking so as you can see right here it has a 12 volt power thing so you could put the thing right there has a usb port right there the ac and stuff let me give you all a startup in a second i'll just put the seatbelt on the chime sounds really good but Coming down to the AC, has dual climate zone control. Passenger can control it and the driver can control his, which is really cool. The shifter reminds me of the shifter in the BMW. I really love this thing. Shift all the way back for drive. One up neutral, one up reverse. It's not, you gotta hold the back of it and put it up to get into reverse. Back down, go over, that's manual. We have M1, 2, and so forth. Just click P to put it back in park. Has this nice Italian flag right there, which is cool. Right here, this little trackpad type thing controls the maps and the radio. It controls the whole entertainment system. Okay, so now you have the parking brake right here. It has this nice, I'm not sure what this is called, but if you know, just comment it, comment it down below what it's called. But this looks really good. All right, so as far as in the glove compartment box, you have even more cable um, outlets. You have the USB, the aux, and the type C port. Closing the glove box. It's a nice armrest with it goes it flows so well with these leather seats but nevertheless i will give y'all some revs so y'all can hear what it sounds like so here we go that's it for the revs oh when you click the d and a Ooh, I think that's normal. And then this is a sporty version, I guess. So let's see what it sounds like when you give it some revs in this mode. Okay, well it went back to N, so we're gonna go back to D. D is supposed to be track mode. Sounds the same, really, but Nevertheless, we'll close up that again. 
kind of reminds me of a BMW. It reminds me of a BMW so much. You have these paddle shifters right here. Over here, you control all the headlight features and stuff. Right here, you control the mirror, like a joystick kind of. Uh, so by the way, it has this nice digital dash. Like I can't get over how good it looks. Like this car just flows so well. I'll drive it down and around the parking lot to show y'all what it feels like in a second. Click and park and just leave it. But yeah, that's it for the interior of this 2024 Alfa Romeo. All right, y'all. So now we'll do a startup and me and Quinlan. All right, me and Quinlan by the take this 2024 Alfa Romeo Giulio on a road test. All right, release the parking brake, you push down and go all the way back for drive. But here we go. Is there like a particular test course or it's just down and up? Yeah, we come up to the stop sign and take a ride. All right. I'll put the window down so y'all can hear the exhaust. Take her right. The steering wheel feels so good, like y'all don't understand. So y'all can see how it drives, it rides pretty comfortable. These seats feel so good. I feel like I could fall asleep in these seats. But now we're doing a calm 35 down the strip. Nothing major. And it's riding pretty good. I'm going to put the windows back up because it's really windy. And that's probably messing up the, um, the video right now. So I'm going to put the window back up. But this is a strip that's probably empty. So I'll just do it to 16 a second for y'all. Oh, okay. It kicks you back, and there we go. Oh, yeah. I'll just put the zero to 60 somewhere in the video because I don't have it like out off my head like that and it's not timed. But I'll put it somewhere in the video for y'all. But it pushes you back for 280 horsepower. It pushes you back. That's not bad. I'm thinking. Oh, no, no, no. You're good, man. All, All right. Good. If we need it, we'll let you know, man. This car gets up and the dash it kind of reminds me of a BMW. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're similar, but I think uh, Alfa Romeo definitely has their own, yeah. their own style. It's, it's unique. It does. Like yeah. this start That's, stop right here is so cool. Yeah, yeah, along with the paddle shifters and, and, yeah. the, and that racing steering wheel, you know? Yeah. It has a flat bottom to it, so it really makes you feel like you're almost at an arcade, you know? Yeah, in a race car. Yeah. Uh, there's something behind. I'm gonna pull over and see if I can use it for a second. Alright, so he's gone. I will try and use these paddle shifters and see what that's about. It's aggressive, like I like this. This car is really aggressive. And it's supposed to be their luxury, a luxury car from what I read about it. The suspension, I'm going over this bumpy road and it, it doesn't bother me that much. But this is a W car for the review and everything. If you want to pick you one up. See, it's a Daytona, Maserati, Alfa Romeo, and Fiat. We'll take care of everything you need. All right. Come see me personally. My name's Quinlan. My phone number is 407-234-6600. Come check us out. All right. You heard that from the man himself. It was a pleasure driving this car. This car feels really good. Like, makes me want to get rich already. Perfect. Well, we 
just click it for park. And that's that. When you turn it off, have these nice tail light features just pop up.